Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're going to check out Ming Hao's new The Eight Contemporary Art. It's been a while since he last did this kind of contemporary dance. So I'm very excited to see this. And of course, you know, he got they got busy. They, they had like a couple comebacks. So that's understandable that it's been a while since he did this. But I'm so glad that he's still continuing on learning this. It's like I mentioned before, it's so fresh to see a, a break dancer go from break dancing and then also try and learn contemporary. That's just so beautiful for me to see and I commend him for doing that. Okay, let's go check this out. Oh, that's beautiful. All the, the cinematography is gonna be beautiful as well. Oh, that's very interesting. Here he comes. Well, that's quite a soft fabric. <laughs> wow! Very haunting. Oh my god, he looks great! Oh, it's going out. Hold on. Ah. The frame went, went from, like, anamorphic to, like, normal, so I had to, like, Switch all that. Beautiful! It's like a butterfly. Pay attention to the details. Oh, Jesus! It's beautiful! Ah! Pay attention to the way he's holding his fingers. Very relaxed. And that's the first thing. One of the first things you need to do if you're gonna do contemporary or ballet. Okay, I think I'm gonna watch first before I analyze this. It's also beautiful the way he's moving. Ooh! Music though, oh, let's stop. That's nice. It's so intense, but like, what the? F what is? That came out of nowhere. The skills of this guy. I feel like there's cam. There's gotta be some sort of camera editing there. Yeah, because it's like it would rewind. Oh my god, the, athletic, the athletic, athleticism. I can't speak. What the fuck did I just watch? What the hell did I just watch? Um, okay, let's go watch that again. This is just mind-blowing. Okay, so this one, I'll pause and stuff. <laughs> I couldn't breathe in that. <laughs> First of all, the music is just intensified. It's so chilling, it's so interesting. And I'm so glad he, he chose this music to dance to. Yeah, that's just beautiful. Just as beautiful on the second watch. This... 
great use of wardrobe because you do want to use whatever you can in the way you project. Very haunting. It's a great setup. This was just... How? Like, did he just bury himself there and then... <laughs> great level... Great levels and dynamics in this. The way he's playing with dynamics is so mesmerizing because the the thing is the music and the beat isn't changing but he's controlling he's con he's make he's changing up the speed that's what dynamics are um he's changing ch he's changing up the speed of his choreo so he he kind of like he kind of like goes like this you know goes with the music and then he kind of double times it's it's great it, and it's that's hard to to do because um it can easily look chaotic if you don't because there's control and there's also like freedom at the same time. It's a great balance between both. I think there's like a butterfly kind of reference. Very earthy, the instrument, the um, inspiration to this choreography. Like, oh, that part. When he goes down, like when he tippy toes like that, that's definitely difficult to do because of the weight you know all of your weight and you're sitting down and your your um your heels lift and it's quickly too um because all of your weight is on that tippy toe it's just hard to balance he's like a composer the way he's uh choreographing this or the, the way he choreographed this this part here is just so cinematic oh this is where he break dances now he's going with the, the how the music is because like I mentioned earlier the music is you know um, the rhythm is the same but he kind of goes double time in areas but here he's intensifying as the music intensifies This break dancing though, I feel like this is the first time I've seen his skills, like this handstand. Where is it? Like that's all... Look at that. That is just... That's very difficult to do in that kind of <laughs> flooring because it's not as balanced. So you almost have to um, find a position. I can... I, I, he probably sorted out the landscape before they taped this, you know, like kind of a run through or some sort of rehearsal um, so that he can kind of grasp because, for example, like it's it's not as smooth as a dance studio, right? Um, and it's different there than how you would perform it here. Um, because if one of the, you know, the, the in the ground, what one is leveled higher than another, if it's not totally smooth, you have to adjust where you, you, where you shift your balance so you can kind of do this handstand as effortlessly as possible. There's a there's a um, there's a break dancing um, term for it. So I, I don't know a lot about break dancing terms. I have been exposed to it because in high school it was the cool thing to do. Um, but if you guys break dance, let me know because I, I know there's a term for that. He's leading with his elbows in these like movements. This is just, I think this was... Okay, it seems like this whole sequence was filmed and then it was like rewinded. It's like backwards. Re like that. It, it's like he goes in and then goes back. So it, they film it and then they go back and then film and then back. I can tell because the the way the fabric of his clothes is going. Beautiful. Oh my god, look at that. This is just very athletic. The stamina for you to do that from like the end to another is just so beautiful. He's really demonstrating his skills in this performance. Something that we don't see yet. 
Oh my god, that's just stunning. What a what a dancer. So, you know, um in in 17, um because the of, of course the dance is more pop, they have a lot of variety in genre for uh for their comebacks and title tracks and even B-sides, but they don't get to do these kind of dances. In certain cases, you can isolate a move from there and put it in at a, in, a, in a 17 dance. You would barely see a sequence of it. That's understandable because not everybody can do what Mihao is doing. And I'm so glad that he's able to kind of show off this side of him in an official kind of capacity. It's just very stimulating for artists to be able to show off and perform what they've been working on, you know? Because we, we hear people who, who, who can, for example, play the piano like they're a prodigy, and but we don't get to see it in an, in an official well-shot kind of way. We might be able to see it in a clip of a V-Live or, or something, but it's not promote, heavily promoted like this. So it's great that Pledis and Seventeen allows him to do this because in I feel like in other groups he'd be, he'd be very constricted. That was just beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you tick that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.